Hi everyone, it's Janelle, and today's video is going to be about nail troubleshooting. I'll be talking about bubbles, smudges and chips, thick polish, and yellow nails. Let's go over some possible causes of bubbles. Residue from lotions and cuticle oils can react badly with nail polish. Wipe your nails with a non-moisturizing nail polish remover prior to your manicure. You can also use white vinegar or rubbing alcohol to remove oils on your nails without leaving any residue. Bubbles can also appear in thick layers of polish. Nail polish consists of solvents, pigments, and other film forming chemicals. Solvents help mix the polish ingredients into a uniform product and they evaporate away into the air as you apply it to your nails. In a layer of polish, solvents evaporate away from the top to the bottom and in thin coats, the top will dry and then the bottom will dry soon after. With thick layers, the top of the polish dries first before the bottom does and forms a skin at the top. As the residual volatile solvent in the bottom attempts to escape, it gets stuck. And bubbles form. So remember, try to practice applying thin coats of polish. The volatile solvents will dissipate more readily in a thin coat. If the air is flowing, and especially if your coats are thick, the air dries the surface of the polish and forms a skin. Look familiar? Also, stay away from heat. It causes polish to get thick. If you shake your polish bottle, tiny air bubbles may get suspended into the polish. Instead of shaking the bottle, roll the bottle gently between your hands. Let's talk about smudges and chips. If you smudge your freshly painted nails, apply a little bit of polish remover over the smeared polish. This acts like a paint thinner to even out the surface. Let it dry and then paint over the smudged area only. Once that's dry, apply top coat over the nail to smooth out any visible lines between the patch and the rest of the polish. For a chipped nail, fill in the spot with a little bit of polish and let dry. Apply a little bit of polish remover, just like you did with the smudged nail, and then finish with top coat. The next topic is thick, goopy polish. Volatile solvent evaporation is the reason why polish gets thick. If you've had a polish for a long time, sometimes the solvents evaporate while in storage. This is why it's important to tighten the cap securely before you put it away. And just as before, thick polish equals thick coats, and bubbles can form. You can thin a thick, goopy polish with nail polish thinner. Find it online or at your local beauty supply store. And please remember, do not add nail polish remover to your nail polish. Instead, use nail polish thinner. Nail polish remover breaks down nail polish, while thinner restores what has evaporated. Our last topic is yellow nails. To reduce stains, you can soak your nails for 5 to 10 minutes in lemon juice or in a mixture of 3% peroxide solution and baking soda. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I hope it was helpful for you.